Hello everybody, Ryan here, and today we are doing the Q&A. You guys sent me your questions and you commented in the comment section your questions. So now, I'm here to answer them. And I've given you about two days. So, if I didn't get your comment, that's probably because you didn't see the video in time. But okay, first question. Hi Ryan, how much did it take to get skilled like that in parkour? Five years, 10, 20, I don't know. Well, the thing is, I actually have been doing parkour like on and off. Like I switched from not doing it and doing it and doing it and not doing it. I just kept switching, I don't know, that, that was, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so. I've been doing that for actually five years now. Since I checked on Facebook and I saw a photo and it was a picture from when I was trying to do my first comp. And I'll put that picture up right now. As you can see, that's a while ago and I was a little bit, I had a little bit more fat on me at the time like that because I was a little younger and I didn't care. But now I'm, I'm really caring about the shape I have to be in for parkour because it has it has changed a lot because when I was at that age in the picture that you saw I actually wasn't able to like uh, climb up from a cat grab I wasn't able to do that I wasn't able to do most of the things that I can do now but ever since I started working out I'm able to do to climb up with cat grabs like nothing now and it's awesome and I will be teaching you guys that stuff of course and especially how to how to get how to work out for that stuff too. Next question. I subbed. Love these kind of vids. Are you doing tutorials one day? You know what? Now that I see that a bunch of people are commenting like, are you doing tutorials? We want tutorials. You know what? I'll do them for you. But the way I'm gonna actually be doing tutorials is I will pretty much start with the basics of this like um, how to lose fat. So you can you can get skinny and it's it's actually really simple and I can show you guys that easily. But I'm gonna start out from getting fit to be able to run for a long amount of time, to be able to pull yourself up with cat grabs, from cat grabs to climb ups, and then just all that stuff. I'll build it from there. What type of shoes to that you should have that you should get. And then I'll start doing the beginning vaults and all that stuff. And pretty much that's, I can do that guys. I'll do tutorials for you, definitely. Just tell me when you want tutorials. Like if it's every week or every couple days or every month, just let me know what you guys want. How lit are you? Do you have any hobby, other hobbies besides parkour? What do you do other than parkour? This is a question I've been getting on here a little bit. I actually really don't do anything else but parkour and workout. That is literally the only thing I love doing. I can't see myself doing any, anything else other than... Okay, here's what I do. I watch YouTube, I watch different channels, I work out, and I do parkour. That's literally all I do. and. That's pretty much all I do. I don't have any other hobbies. How do you video your parkour videos? Love your vids, by the way, man. Keep up the great work. Thank you, guy. Thank you, man. And I will show you exactly how I video my parkour videos. For the camera I'm actually using right now, um, I think, it, okay, it's called a Vixia HF. R600. That's what I am shooting with right now. And what I do to hold the camera, I use this. I actually use this stabilizer. It's really easy for me to grip it like this so I can like, so I can do my vlogs. And if you guys want to check out that camera, that this camera that I'm using right now to film the Q&A, um, link to the camera will be in the description. And also, the other camera I use, I think this might be what you were asking is how do I do point of view parkour videos maybe but here's how I do that for all those is that a GoPro in your mouth right here this is exactly what I use guys right here it's a mouth mount for your GoPro and 
This is the most stable point of view for parkour that you can ever get, mostly because your head acts like a natural stabilizer, while if you have the chest, I mean, I have the chest mount and the head strap mount inside of that bag right there, but I don't use them because they're not stable. The chest mount can shake, the head mount shakes on your head, but this, you grip it with your mouth and it moves with your head, so it's more stable than any other. And when you heard me talking in that video, parkour versus teacher, this is this is why this is how I was talking like that. What should I show you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't talk like that in any of my parkour point of view videos anymore if you guys don't want that. And plus, yes I know, I will lower the breathing sound a lot, okay? To where you could barely hear it, but you could still hear it for like that feeling, you know? That real feeling. On to the next question. How did you get into parkour? What got you motivated to do parkour? When did you first get into parkour? Well, like I said, it was five years ago that I got into parkour and the way I got into parkour was I watched my first video and it was uh, called best parkour and free running ever or something like that and that immediately got me into parkour and like I was seeing what they were doing and it was amazing to me and I always wanted to do that so I started and I had like three or four friends that also wanted to start doing it too so actually no they were already doing it and then they told me that they were doing it and pretty much I started doing parkour with them and I started training with them for uh, like two three years and then we kind of like faded away from parkour and then I was the one that really got back into parkour and I wanted to do it a lot like it's it feels so great to do parkour and it's just amazing and what got me motivated to do it was the feeling of it like there's no other feeling than flowing over objects that people that don't do parkour can't do like you're literally flowing around objects and it's it's just amazing and it's an unexplainable feeling and if you do parkour then you understand that feeling. Ryan, how do I learn to do stuff like you? Well, you practice, practice, train, practice, all that. Just do a bunch of it and I will be having tutorials so pretty much you will be learning while I teach you guys, okay? When do I get to see you again? I miss you, bro. Well, Brian, I miss you too, man. And I will see you on Thanksgiving. I will be going to Lakeside. If any of you my fans live in Lakeside, just let me know and we can we can do some kind of meetup. I would love to meet all my fans, but the thing is, I, I can't get to most countries that you're in. I has, I has a queue. It's, how many cars are in your backyard? Wanna see? Well, guess what? I've got the freaking original Ghostbusters car in my backyard. Yeah, it's kind of unbelievable. I'm not really that hyped about it, but you know, I'm just like, oh, okay, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Still got the symbol on it, and then someone like put that stuff, those words on it. So let's see, one, two, three, four old cars, and including my car or my dad's car and someone else's car that lives here. Six cars? Am I your brother? Well, Kyle Green, yeah. Why are you commenting on my video, Kyle? Go, go somewhere else. Ryan Willis, how often do you plan on putting out videos? I'm gonna keep saying this, keep up the good work, bro. Thank you so much for telling me to keep up the good work, and I will, I will for all of you. I want you guys to enjoy my content, and I wanna optimize my content just so you guys love everything I do. And I do, I am planning on pretty much, I've been putting out a video every three days, that's what I've been doing, but tell me how often you want my videos, because if I do them like every one or two days, Usually I'm not really doing any, anything at home or going anywhere, so let me know some ideas I can do at home if you want me to do videos every day or every two days. 
Next question. I want you to do more parkour versus. By that, do you mean parkour versus security? Parkour versus um, teacher? I mean, that was just an accident. I We just stumbled upon a teacher. We were just, I was just trying to go get some footage on a rooftop up at that school and there just happened to be a teacher there and yeah, it depends on what kind of parkour versus you want. Like parkour versus like Pokemon Go. I've seen a video like that, but I, I'm, I don't know. Whatever you guys want me to do, just comment down below. Next question, what kind of school do you go to and what job are you looking to get in the future? This is actually a really good question. Okay, I don't want to say the exact school because I don't want, I don't really want people like coming to my school. I want to meet all of you, but I don't want you to like come to my school and start like, you know, you know, how, you know I don't know, I don't know. What job am I looking to get in the future? I really, 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 really want to be an actor, an actor, guys. I love acting. I love playing a different type of character than myself. I love studying a script just to get into a character, and it's... I just want to be an actor so bad and guys if I make it into Hollywood with all the other acting with all the movies not even Hollywood but anywhere else you know if I get into any big movies and I start becoming famous guys I'm not going to abandon you okay I swear I will not stop doing YouTube just because I'm a famous actor I'll be a famous actor and also do YouTube at the same time, guys. I'll be able to do that, hopefully. <laughs> if I don't, I will let you know when, if that time ever comes. But that's what I wanna do in the future. And also, I'll, I want to also be a stuntman because parkour. <laughs> How old are you? And I watched you from 200 subs. Thanks, man, for watching me since 200 subs. That was a little bit ago, but not that long ago. I'm growing fast and it's all thanks to you guys. I am 17 years old. I'm 17 years old. I'm gonna turn 18 on February 23rd, 1990. Oh my gosh, I almost just said my birthday. Okay, I'm gonna turn 18 on February 23rd. Next question, rate yourself on parkouring. You mean doing parkour? One out of 10. You know, I don't wanna really rate myself, but I do know all the parkour moves right now. Like I know every single parkour move, but I don't know how to rate myself because, yeah, I can I can go for pretty big stuff. Like I can amaze myself sometimes, but I mean, you guys, you can rate me. I mean, I'm gonna be coming out with a awesome video that has all my awesome moves that I do pretty soon. What flips can you do, and what flips do you plan to learn besides a front flip? Well, I only know a front flip right now, and a Superman front flip and I really I kind of want to start learning a bunch of flips but I just love doing parkour just the feeling of that the front flips I don't I love it because you can get over things and flip and it would still be like flow you know except I don't like how in chase videos I'll add front like back flips and stuff and gainers well maybe a gainer maybe that's pretty much good flow but and side flip. Okay, I want to learn a side flip and a back flip, and that's all. I'll I'll just want to do a front flip, a side flip, and a back flip, and then I'll be able to do gainers, which would mean it's still going flow, so it's it's all good. Next question. Uh, just how did you train? This guy has uh, he asked two questions, but I'm gonna answer this one too because I thought it was a really good question. Just how did you train? Well, I literally just only trained from YouTube. I only trained from YouTube. I watched videos and I did them. I just kept on doing them. I just kept watching newer videos, getting into more parkour, and that's how I learned parkour, guys. Videos from the internet. Next question. Yo, Ryan, please respond to this on camera. It would mean so much. Can you make a water bottle trick shot video? You guys ready? yourself going out to a city sometime for parkour and are you gonna make guides keep up the amazing work right RW I think that's Ryan Willis my initial thank you man uh, I will definitely keep up the good work and if you're if you're um, saying like asking a question like are you gonna make guides tutorials yes I answered that one and 
would you see yourself going out to a city sometime for parkour? If you mean like, uh, like New York City or some famous city, maybe someday I will do that. But if you also mean going out to a city like around me, yes, I, I usually always do that. And then the third thing that I'm thinking you might mean is like go out to a city where I have a bunch of fans. Well, I would definitely do that. But once I'm able to actually make enough money to where I can make great videos for you guys and optimize my content, like if I start making money off of YouTube guys, the thing I would be doing is I would be upgrading my cameras just so you guys can see better com like quality content. And I just, I just want to make the best out of my YouTube channel for you guys to view with that money. So also with that money, yes, I would fly out to cities just to come meet my fans and hang out with my fans. That would be so, so great. And that's actually something that I'm planning on doing one day. Ryan, if you had the chance to join Team Feyrang, would you join the team? Well... Uh, Feyring, I kind of, I know what that team is, but I'm not really that into the team, like that, that group or, or parkour team. They do a lot of free running, you know. Um, I don't know, to be honest. Like, I, I am following them on uh, Instagram, but I just followed them because they were another parkour team, and I like seeing parkour. But, um, I'm not sure if I would join that team. I mean, if they asked me, I I might. I don't know if I would because I'm not really that into that team that much because I don't know them that well, but I don't know. Tips on starting a parkour channel. I sub. Amazing. Thank you for subscribing, man. Thank you so much. And just saying amazing, that means so much to me. But to start a parkour channel, just upload amazing content, guys. That's all I got to say. Upload awesome good quality content that you would watch on someone else on YouTube. Like, upload what you would want to see, pretty much. Do you lift? Wait. And love your vids. Keep it up. Thank you for loving my vid videos. I love you, fans. I love you all, guys. And I will definitely keep it up. Um, on to the question, do you lift? Weights. No, I actually stopped lifting weights in the summer and I've moved on to calisthenics. Calisthenics are pretty much the best option if you're doing parkour. It is the best option. Weights are pretty much uh, if you want to increase your muscle size. Also, uh, that's pretty much kind of how my muscles are a little big if they are big. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's how people usually do it. If they want their muscles bigger, they use weights. If you, if you want to like go around and move in your environment easily, like like pulling up to something, like like climb ups, that's what calisthenics are for. So you can move through your environment like amazingly. So pretty much I would prefer if you do parkour to do calisthenics for a workout, which is body weight exercise. You can also build muscle with calisthenics, but um, it's all mostly awesome strength exercise. I actually live in Hemet, California right now, so that's pretty much where I live right now. And I do visit Lakeside, California occasionally, if any of you know where that is, kind of close to Santee and El Cajon. If any of you know where that is, that's awesome, because you might stumble upon me sometime in the near future. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, it means so much that you guys are able to post questions down below and I can make a video to answer them, answer questions that need to be answered, share my life with you guys. It just means a lot to do that. And it's it's awesome the amount of subscribers I'm gaining, which are are you, are you. They those subscribers are you guys. So, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for everything. You you guys have literally, oh I thought I had an anthem, literally changed my life. So I'm going to be doing YouTube for a long time guys, it's official. <laughs>
So you guys are all so awesome and I can't believe, it's, it's just so much to say. I, I just can't think of everything to say. I have a lot to say for thanking you guys for the support. Oh, if you have a question, if you have any questions, leave your questions down in this video and the next Q&A that I do, I'll use those questions to put in the video and I'll answer them for you guys, okay? So, I don't know when the next Q&A video will be, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.